Willillo, and welcome to Stop, Let's Team Up, My Legion Adventure, Episode 26. And we're back in Legion Land, and it's Adventure Comics 310 is the subject of my Gab Fest today. So let's get into some of the basics, and then I'll give you my opinion on this little comic. Uh, it's Adventure Comic 310, uh, July, cover date July 1963. Cover pencils, Kurt Swan, yay, penciler. George Klein Inker, yay, and Gaspar uh, Saladino as letterer. The cover story is when Crypto became Superboy's master. It's a great cover uh, with Lana Lang and a talking two leg standing on his uh, hind legs. Um, Crypto telling Superboy, smart thinking, Superboy, saving that falling worker with your teeth. I'll reward you with a juicy bone. But that's not the story we're talking about. We're going to be talking about um, the first story in the book. Uh, the Doom of the Superheroes. Uh, it is a two-part story. Part one is called The Doom of the Superheroes. Um, and part two, The Last Stand of the Legion. The credits are editor Plotter Mort Weisinger, Plotter scripter Edmund Hamilton, Penciler, Inker, John, Forte, Letterer, Milton, Snap-In, Roll Call, Cosmic Boy, Saturn Girl, Chameleon Boy, Invisible Kid, Shrinking Violet, Superboy, Sun Boy, Bouncing Boy, Ultra Boy, mon Lightning Lass, Triplicate Girl, um, Behind the Scenes, but we see her, uh, Phantom Girl, Behind the Scenes, um, Colossal Boy, Brainiac 5, and Element Lad. And the villain is Mask Man. His first and only appearance and I'm going to save that uh, the surprise uh, for after the amazing synopsis from this Legion Superheroes Index that I love so much. On the day of the Legion's rededication ceremony, a doll-sized lead mass villain possessing the powers of all the Legionnaires appears over Metropolis, kills Ultra Boy, and vanishes. The heroes calling the, this nemesis Masked Man surmise that someone so small could only have come from the doll world. Ooh. And track him there only to watch as several murders, watch as he murders several more Legionnaires. Retreating to a nearby planetoid, the Legion builds a defensive citadel. However, Masked Man soon infiltrates the stronghold, eventually killing every remaining hero except Superboy, who guesses that their foe is actually a descendant of the fifth dimensional, his fifth dimensional foe, Master McPicklix. Once the boy, boy of Seal tricks him into saying his name backwards, Masked Man is banished to his home dimension. All the effects of his manic, magic vanish, and the Legions are brought, returned to life. And only Superboy is left to remember the last stand of the Legionnaires. Um, this is... I've never been a fan of mixed Picklick stories. I'm just going to admit that. I don't... It's not... There are ones that I really like that I think are really well written. I think a uh, bulk of them, it's the same story over and over and over again. Uh, this is an okay story. I mean, I'd say and this isn't one of my favorites. Uh, it's got some moments. Um, the Forte art's um, good. I don't think it's as good as uh, previous issues, but it's still, he's learning. There's some odd angles. Um, there is, nowadays you could not write the story about and have a planet called Dole World. They use the word midget, which we don't use anymore. Uh, it's a little, you know, this one doesn't hold up. But there's some good stuff coming on. I like it. It's one of those, it's a two-part story. I, I really have a soft spot for the Silver Age two-part stories. This one's just very simple. But you get a lot of Legionnaires. This is the most Legionnaires in a story, which I think is great. Because you get to see everybody, you pretty much see the entire Legion here. Um, and it's good. There's the Mount Rushmore of space with all the alien heads. That's how Chameleon Boy gets killed. I mean, Colossal Boy gets killed. It's just a cute little story. Um, and it's, I don't see anything in it that's really just, it's, uh, it's not as good as the ones around it. Um, it's not as good as last week's with, um, the, uh, Beastmaster. Um, there's some other things in it, you know, Doll World, eh. Um, I really don't kind of, it's kind of silly. The, we get to hear the Legion Pledge. Let me read you the Legion Pledge. I meant to do that. Here, let us get back. We whoops, hold on. I'm looking in my archives, volume two. We're about a quarter of the way through it. I love this book. I love all my archives. Um, I just, you know, I love Legion, and it's this has been an, this is still a very interesting exercise, and I appreciate y'all uh, that are listening, joining it, and I hope you you're getting something out of it other than you know annoyed. 
But uh, the Legion Pledge. I pledge always to use my superpowers only for the good of all people and never for selfish purposes. Straight to the point, succinct. Gotta like that. Gotta like that. Um... You know, this is, it's a, it's an okay comic. The art's not as good. I mean, uh, it's got all the Legionnaires. I like it. Um, I'm looking forward to the next couple. Um, our next one, 311, is another um, Legionist Substitute Heroes one. And the art is absolutely stellar. And then we get to 312, and that's a big, that's a really important comic to me. And I'll probably talk a lot about that. But this one, fun, little, cute. Meta mix pickle story, uh, nothing to you know knock you over the um, over the fence. Um, you know Starboy's not in this. Just realize this. He's only a face on the splash page. That's my guy. Hmm. Oh, and that's and the Mattery Latin fan Supergirl were in it. I'm glad I've got this because I don't remember that. And I just you know I, at this point I don't think I can name all the legions in it off the top of my head. I'd have to look at a cheat sheet. But we're getting there. We're getting through. Um, we get some good, we get ne the next two are really good stories and I can't look for, I can't, um, wait to read them. Um, I want to talk a little bit about CD, uh, SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, there was some Legion, um, um, news. There's going to be a Legion, another animated Legion movie or a an Legion movie. Um, uh, a little leak today was hitting that Supergirl centric, which is fine by me. That's cool. I just want a Legion, and that the Bendis uh, cartoon, Bendis Legion cartoons coming from HBO Max at some point. I, um, if you were following me on Twitter, you know I said I'm not a big fan of it recently in a Twitter thing. I'm gonna wait for the trade. I've not liked what I've read of the JLA Legion team up. Uh, the art's good. It's just, it. The, uh, when I like Bendis, I like Bendis. When I don't, I don't. And I just don't think, I just don't think they thought out this relaunch. I think um, it it's not out on time. You're already doing a mini and nothing's really happening. And you've done nothing to develop really characters. Character. My point is, I don't feel there's any character development uh, in this recent run of Legion. It's not speaking to me at all. The JL8, the team up is not speaking to me. I'm going to, I'm going to get it and I'm going to, I'm going to get the trade and I'm going to read it. And then I'll do a special episode about it because I do want to, you know, I am reading through Legion in its entirety. When I get the stuff I don't like eras, you know, there's some stuff eras I don't like, um, you know, and I'm still going to go through it and see. And because when you read a comic again, you get a different take. It's the take, you know, the mood you're in when you read it. Today I've had a pretty mellow day and I read a nice little comic and it was okay. It was a distraction for 10 or 15 minutes. Well, really 30 minutes. I mean, I read it it's pretty slowly and kind of soaked it in. But, you know, so I, I will give the Modern Le uh, Legion um, a chance again when I read the whole uh, mini. And I'll probably, you know, I may reread the whole thing, both, uh, you know, all 12 issues and the miniseries at one time just to get a feel of what Bendis is going for because I just think he's it's just nostalgia with nothing to come for it with some little tricky new heroes he introduced way too many characters at once and I was saying online that you know if they reboot it just roll it to roll it back and start it over like they did with Legionnaires on the reboot and you know you can honor both you can honor all the eras by just starting over and introducing us to the characters through a fresh pair of town with uh, with a, through a fresh pair of eyes and uh, a different, you know, another generation of writer and artist to see what this generation does with it. I think that would be interesting. Well, folks, you'll be back on Thursday with our latest, the next, uh, those Daring Defenders uh, episode. And this weekend, I'm not sure. There may not. I I am going out of town this weekend to for a baby shower in New York. Um, I may record... Um, a quickie episode Sunday, but if we're missing one, I apologize. I just, I don't want to promise something. Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's a day I don't record, so maybe I will get something in the box. I just, it's crazy at work. Um, got a lot going on, and I'm going out of town this weekend and next weekend, so um, we'll see what happens. But folks, until then, thank you for listening. Please reach out to us. If you're enjoying this, please give us a review on Apple uh, Podcast or your podcast listening source. Um, if you have any questions, comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at JSA4E, that is JSA, the letter for the number E, or at stopletsteamup at gmail.com. I'd love to hear critique, hates, likes, you know, 
you know, ideas for a show. If you want to, if you're a podcast and you want to come on and talk a, a Legion issue, I, I'd love that. Have a little longer episode and have a conversation. Um, there's some important ones coming up and maybe I'll do that. But until then, folks, do me a favor. Be smart, be safe, be kind, and read some comics. (laughs) 